with another tutorial slash review. This time we're gonna be checking out Jane Carter Solutions Curls to Go Curl Cocktail. Now I've seen and have received mixed reviews regarding this line. I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Let's get into the consistency. So this is what we're working with. Very, very, very creamy, okay? go. I'm gonna be working in medium to small size sections. All right, so my hair is kind of sort of section off. Um, I am going to be using a leave-in for the purpose of this review since the focus is Jane Carter. I won't let you know what it is, but you could look at the bottle to kind of guess. <laughs> Now I'm gonna show you how most of us have learned how to do three strand twists, okay? Is this? Taking the Jane Carter solution, and yes, I'm using quite a bit of it. Very, very creamy. See what it looks like there? All right, so I have three sections, okay? Now this is how most of us have learned. Now let me, let me think about this girl. All right. I'm gonna take this one and cross it over. I have two sections right here. Take this one, cross it over. Two sections again. Cross it over. Two sections. However, I saw Seriously Natural. She went ahead and did the three sections. You take away one. We're gonna do a regular two strand to us. I'm gonna go ahead and twirl that around. I am gonna do a hanging band too. So now I'm gonna take my third and I'm going to twist that around the two strand. Isn't that easy? Yes. She has a lot of great content. I go back and look at some of her videos and that video was from 2015 if I remember correctly. Now I'm going to go ahead and do All right, so that is the easiest way I found to do them. done with my hair and look at the shine yes um, my hair is a bit shrunken so I'm going to use the banding method let me do this again uh, the banding method to um, give me some length this is what I do to stretch out my hair um, after wash day um, and then you just take y'all know how to do banding right you just take these bands and continue to go down the hair shaft. All right, y'all, I'll see you in a couple more days, okay? So y'all, I allowed my hair to set for about a day, and the next day my hair felt funny. It did not feel moisturized, and I leaved, I, excuse me, I used enough leave-in Great shine, great definition, but my results were inconsistent. Taking it down, it felt hard in some places, it felt soft in others. It was just missing, I don't know, it was missing something. I know what it was, I know what it is, excuse me. My hair is missing movement, it's missing body. And I have volume, I should be able to have some body, right? So yeah, not really feeling this product, and it does have mixed reviews, but I wanted to try it anyway. So you're gonna see me here end up putting up half my hair, okay? I'm not liking the way my hair looks. It is frizzy, very frizzy in the back, especially the ends. And it's humid right now in Phoenix, so, so updo.
Oh yeah, did you see how my hair looks stiff in the previous clip? And that's how it was in certain areas, and I didn't like that. So just placing half my hair up, the next day it was even worse. It looked like I had styled my hair on dirty hair, um, which wasn't the case. I only had washed my hair two days before. So anyway, you guys, this is the back. I would probably mix this styling with a buttercream to make a DIY creamy buttercream, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.